Well, speaking of good eats and good company, if you come to the draft experience, you won't have to go too far to find delicious food from local vendors. And of course, that includes some Kansas City barbecue. You can't have an event like this without Kansas City barbecue. Lindsay Shively found some of the people behind that delicious barbecue already hours into cooking. When you come to the NFL draft experience on the grounds of the National World War One Memorial Museum, you also get to pick from some of Kansas City's best barbecue places. And I just caught up with a couple of the pitmasters this morning. They have been camped out for days cooking for you because good Kansas City barbecue takes time. This is life changing for oh. so many small businesses in Kansas City and to be a part of something like this, um, we don't take it for granted, you yeah. know, and I'm going to tell you right now, we've got pit masters lined up sleeping in their vehicles and their, you know, places Seriously, right so now. that people can be prepared for this. These beautiful ribs belong to Jazzy Bees, AKA Brandon Simpson, who's not only cooking beautiful barbecue at the NFL draft, this pit master is also a college football player. You're a Bearcat, you played at Northwest. This is your hometown. What is this like for you to be at the draft doing this? I love it, it's, it's surreal because I'm here. I made it to the draft finally 30 years later. <laughs> You know, um, instead though, we get to feed the masses and show everybody what Kansas City barbecue is and, and introduce them to Jazzy B's. So yeah. it's fun for Kansas City to, you know, host something with this magnitude. It's it's happening how and much, we're a part of it. How much sleep have you had this week? Uh, probably about 10 hours. This week? <laughs> Excited so, for today? Oh, heck yeah. Let's roll. Let's we're going to keep going.